Wow, you're subbed? Ooh, you're not subbed. Make sure you click that button and like the video. Enjoy, buddy. Bro, all right, how's LNG test going? They're playing Rise top into Kennen. What the hell? I mean, that is a classic. That is a classic. Nice. Nice and clean. Nice and clean like the crusty crab. Ooh, Jackie. No flash. No flash, Jackie. Nice cleanse. Nah, you dead, Ko. You dead. You ain't getting out of that one. Nice kill. But how many plates is Azir getting? Yeah, I don't like MF with Sejuani. That might sound very pretentious and picky. But I really like MF in comps with Zyra Brand. Zyra Brand, MF, Leona, Rel, just... It gets my blood pumping, you know what I'm saying? Okay, nice bot tier one for Scout. So, I've heard Scout's been playing a bit shit this year. I mean, LNG overall has been a bit shit. He's getting better. Big Harold mid. We said you only dodged because he took the Herald. Can LNG win this game? Ah, uh, yeah, game's fine. Rise side lane is great against Kennen. Yes, Rise ult the cheat tempo. Only struggle is they do have MF into Brown, which can backfire quite a lot. And uh, Tess do out range. Rise MF quite short range. Against champs like Brown, when they have a zero S real, a bit hard to get on top of them. So let's see how Scout and Weiwei connect. They really need to gap close. Nice side step from Zika there. He might have lost his flash. Here comes a commit. Scout has Q3. He's holding it. They use it out. This is where the range hurts LNG a little bit. That's Scout trying to gap close. Didn't get anything out of them. Maybe could get a Brown ult. There's the gap close. The nice pushback. The MF ult's blocked. A lot's wasted from LNG. Not the best. But they got the dragon. Oh, 369. Oh my god, 369. Okay, Scout with a mega turn on the ult. LNG all lived. The exhaust came out onto Kennen. Huge exhaust. Tian! Oh, Sun the Sky! Can he proc it on Leona as well? Tian, baby! Quadra kill for Tian! Holy fuck, that was a back and forth fight. Cream, good pushback straight away. Scout, insane ult on a turn from 369. Hung, exhaust on 369. Perfect. Zika, rise ult to chase. A bit psychopo psychopath, but I like it. You could see the health bars of, of, of LNG. All, all of them were in the cannon ult. It, they were going down really slowly. Do you think LNG have a good angle with top push this game to just a rise ult Nash? I do love rise ult Nashes. I think their champs are good for it as well. I think Yone is great, but Yone will never really be on the same side. If, imagine if Exhaust was banned against Kennen, well then it would be the most OP champ in the game, wouldn't it? So, a lot of back and forth here. He fishes for Brown ult here, Scout doesn't get it. Then Gala steps up a little bit to slow them. Here comes the engage from Hang. EQ, Flash, R onto Cream. The pushback was a good reaction, and then Mako with the, uh, the block stops a lot of the damage. Knockback from Tian stops Weiwei. And then Scout gets Q3 here and re-engages on the 369 ult. Exhaust comes out on 369, stops a lot of the damage. Zika flashes to the side. Side. Scout gets an ult through onto two of them. Hung misses E onto Jackie, so that gives him a lot more uptime than they'd want. And then here comes the Rise ult, which I think was maybe a bit too deep. Because as they Rise ult, Tian is 1v3. But he gets only one of them. And he Ws through, gets Sunred Sky on MF, plus Triumph from the kill on Rise. W hits, E. Mega clean by Tian. I think if they all took the Rise ult, it would be fine, but they didn't. It gave him enough time to just kill Zika by himself. Instead of getting a 3v1, he kind of got three 1v1s. Oh, mega engage. Brownwald stopped a lot of the damage, though. Brownwald versus MF is crazy. Nice peel by Mako. He might be out here. Ooh, E4 is from Jackie with no sums. He's always risky when he do things. Cream, no mana. What? Why does he have no mana? He's just fucking dead or what? Rizold could go hard here if you want to do it, but into a cannon. Rizolting into cannon with no exhaust is completely degenerate. MF, BF, so, uh, Bloodthirst first item. Yeah, it's so her W pass, it doesn't get cancelled because she has a shield. But also, it's just a really good item, BT. Okay, Gala's getting pretty strong. Once he gets um, LDR, he's gone for Hex Drinker against Kennen Azir. I don't blame him too much. Who has the better team comp? 
I don't know, both comps are good and bad. The good news for Tess comp is this 4-core is quite strong in peeling the carries. They can block, they can knock back, but Kennen doesn't really have anyone to commit, so Kennen is more of like a disruptor in this comp, which is not the best. Um, LNG have insanely good side lanes, really good AoE, uh, really good engage. So I think LNG's comp is a little bit easier, but the problem is they have to make sure they can get the engage, because the Azir S rule outranges them by miles. They have to get... You see how in the last dragon fight, Hung is like E-flash R-ing. That's how far they have to go to find an engage. They're against Azir, pushback, Braum shield, Braum ult, Estral E, Azir E. Like, they have so much dashes and knockbacks and Asinza ult. Like, and even if you get on top of them, Kennen's ulting on your face as well. So, it's tough for LNG, but I think the map-wise, they should be able to win. Because Ryze will have push, Yone will have push. You can see the waves are being bled on sides. And if it gets to mega late game, I think they're kind of fucked. They lost Drake for free. Okay, Tess have some control. Nice bot push from Zika though. Look at the level difference in top. This Ryze is so strong. You could fake Ryze ult and engage and force Kennen TP. Look at this. This Ryze is actually forcing Kennen off of tower. Scout's changing song real quick. What was the point of that? Um, so basically he keeps the minions alive. I can tell you why in a sec. Mako might live. No. Nice pick. He keeps the minions alive so that when the wave comes it stops there so that the other wave keeps running. So it's closer to his tower so he can kill it safer without getting caught. Oh, Scout blind Q over the wall instantly finds Jackie Love. What? Chris is dying. He's getting chunked out so hard here. He's gonna die. Ooh, Scout Yone is cracking. Yeah, Rice side lane is unmatchable now. Is he level 18, this Rice? Wouldn't surprise me, actually. Wow, he bought he bought Koenig Rukeren because of Azir Kennen. I mean, this, this Yone is pretty fucking tanky. Here comes the Ding chat. Oh my god, ding, max level. Gonna queue up for some BGs. Alright, Gala got Bloodthirster. Jackie gets, uh, Gala got LDR. Jackie got Bloodthirster. Tess Drake is up, but it's not. Is LNG good again? Yeah, it looks like it. I remember watching LNG in spring and they were fucking ass. They're slowly breaking through the... The barrier of... I don't know, whatever broke them before. Who is it they won in this group? They beat Weibo and NIP. Okay, so they're not out of the woods yet. They beat two frauds. Weibo and NIP are both fraudulent. I'm just gonna say it right now. Weibo are not fraudulent. They are mega fraudulent. I don't care that they beat Nip. I don't care that they beat JDG. I don't care. It's, it's gonna collapse. I can feel it. I do not believe in that roster. Chat, they put in, they, they subbed out Crisp for someone. How did they, that guy do? They, they subbed out Crisp, didn't they? He was terrible. He really flopped on Weibo, yeah. The Shy left. Oh my god, that engage. That's a gap close right there. Nice flash by Jackie. Holy fuck, the splash damage. It's actual, just pure collateral, isn't it? Fire everything into that, into that front line. TP from 369, he has ult. There's the ult. Oh my god, it's just a mess, man. It's just a mess. It's just AoE central. But they can't get through their health bars. They're too tanky. Can they end? 369 spacing. Uh, it looks kind of hard to end 10 seconds on Jackie. I just don't think... I mean, they're gonna go for it maybe with Rice TP. Yeah, he doesn't have ult to clear the wave. Does they have stopwatch 369? Maybe he could stall. Two, one second on Jackie. Maybe they can end, yeah. I think it's over, yeah. Completely over. Really. He ends up. Cream's up in five, though. Oh my god, Tian got one tapped. What the fuck? He got five kills and then didn't really do anything all game. Scout played like a mo- Ooh, a four man ult big. Scout played like a monster this game. Scout played like a monster. First pick, Leona, really. Nidalee ban against Weiwei. Good one, two, a Corky here. Tristana's banned. Ooh, they're gonna go Sejuani and Yone instead. Damn. Me gusta. Now, Jackie Love, Estriel. What do we think? Estriel, Corky? Is that really the direction we want to go? Hmm. Ivern. Does Tian play Ivern? Ooh, Brand is what he plays. Don't do Brand, Corky. Do Brand, Estriel. Oh my god, man. Okay, what do we got on three here? We could play Braum. Sejuani, Braum, and that looks kind of fire. Sejuani, Rel. Sejuani, Braum. You could pick... Could pick top as well, could pick... Oh, Renekin's bend. 
Raku and okay, Astral Ben, yeah, expected. Now Tess Bans with Rakan. What would Gala play? I mean, Kaisa Ben sounds nice. Zeri Ben sounds nice. Mm, Zaya could be a good Ben, but I don't think Zaya is that good against their champs. But yeah, it's just annoying to play against Zaya Rakan. We can all admire my bird drawing while we're waiting for the draft. Cannon Ben, interesting. That makes me think that they're blinding Jax or some shit. Or Nar maybe? Maybe they're going Nar here? They could go Nar. Uh, I mean, Zeri is really good. Nar Zeri looks pretty easy for their draft. MF is also quite nice. I do like MF. Camille is pretty good. Camille Ziggs combo. They needed AP and bot. I like that Ziggs. I should have called that Ziggs. That was really easy. Whose draft do you like more? I love LNG's draft. I love LNG's draft. Camille Ziggs, Rakan. Oof. In the champs like MF Corky. But I do think Bren can solo carry this whole game. He has four melee champs coming into him. And he's single AP with Leona. So, I mean, Bren either 1v9s or... It's completely Jover. Nice top gank timer. Is he dead? I think the answer is we. The answer is no. Kasante, holy mother of God. He's dead. Nice energy trying to get this Camilla head. And he yoinks one of the grubs. Not bad by Hui Hui. Nice Q3. Uh, oh my god, I got the hiccups. Nice they have vision on him, right? Just ult out. He's the brand stun, and then flash. Ooh, maybe just flash earlier. Jack is fine. Okay, flash is traded on support rooms. Slash support staying in bot. They're gonna try and catch Hui Hui. He's sussing it a bit. He's sussing it. He knows something's up. Surprise, motherfucker. He's dead, I think. Is he dead? No, he's not. He's not. Oh my god, Mako is just... He ganked mid, ganked jungler, now he's ganking mid again. Scout's just dead or what? Oi! Ang Hong has heal! That timing! Oh, perfect. E's out, waits for support. Last second, he comes in. E heal, knock up, misses, but Q was nice. Man, Scout's been getting spam ganked. Can someone help us? Oh, Etienne. It's just 3v3's mid, constantly forcing. The fact that Scout hasn't died yet is wild. The fact that there's no kills on Tess after all of these plays towards mid. Oh, Jackie had the flash. Gala can W him back. Ui! Oh, he got cancelled by it, but it's still fine. They have the damage. Nice kill by LNG. I think LNG's comp is going to be really strong. If the game state continues in like an even ish, slightly favored, there's not much Tess can do against this comp. And Camille Ziggs, absolute chef's kiss. Why is it? His surprise is still equal gold. Yeah, but solo lanes from top esports are doing really well in lane phase. CS and plates is going quite heavily in their favor. I just heard the Ziggs laugh like a little rat when I see Ziggs ult on cooldown, so I imagine he did. Would be good for Gala to base here. Yes, TP. But of course, his jungle supporter decided to fight. Oi! Nice kill by Jackie. Here comes the Zix TP. Here comes Scout TP as well or something? No, Camille. They get first blood tower top though, Tess, with five grubs. The gold's fine. Can they get bot tower with one grub? Yeah, they should be able to, right? They have true damage in Zix W. Can Tess take this? They have no flash on Leona. Quite hard to get in though. Scout's also ready to make a play, but it's Q3. Yeah, it's up. Yeah, Leona just runs in and dies. Fantastic. Ui, Scout. Oh, Scout. That was gorgeous. That was gorgeous. Oh, Teresa's not teeping out. But I think he forgot that he's playing against Camille, so Camille just pressed R on him, and now Teresa's not dead. And now Cream's teeping in to help him, but he's also trolling with that TP. 
This line tried to TP away in front of Camille. Imagine a world where Cajal isn't a fraud. That's right, you can't. Wee, Zika, why are we flashing? He thought Weiwei was going. You can see on the bottom right, look at 369. He just TPs out in front of her, and Camille just ults him. Okay, no, Leona ult, Drake's up. Top Esports missing key cooldowns. It's crazy that Tess is losing after EWC and beating Gen G. Sounds like a fluke to me. TP bot side by Yone. What is Scout cooking here? What is Scout cooking? Ooh, that Ziggs ult. Ow. Okay, no cleanse on Jackie. Maybe a bit too scared that cleanse. Scout's gonna get Mako. Clean by Scout. Oh, and never mind. Friend was over the wall. Not clean at all. Top tier 2 insta pinged. Maybe they have to TP up there. It's crazy that LNG are on soul point in 2 minutes. Well, they're in soul point. And they can get soul in 2 minutes. Mountain soul. 22 minutes in. Sounds fucking rough. What's Zika cooking here? What is he cooking? Nice ult. He has Ziggs ult here, maybe he can trade one for one. Oh, too deep. <laughs> Camille! Bro, that Camille backflip. I really think Gala could have ulted here and it could have helped him out a lot, but... It's okay. He realized Corky was here and then he just pop. Nice at the stun hit, so they could flash through and kill. Maybe they were fighting mid, is that why? He had no cleanse. Oh my god. I mean, he just got absolutely one tap. He wasn't looking at the fight. Q3 hits. Rakan engage, stop bad. Weiwei's back. Kasante is doing his best to Zonwei Zika. Comes in and one shots Camille. There's the ult. Doesn't get the Q2 on Jackie. Nice steal from Tian. Wow, Tess won that fight. They couldn't find the right Yone ult. And 369 slowing Zika down actually saved them. Saved them so hard. Are they gonna rush Baron? Uh, it's gone, isn't it? And they should get out as well. They thought they can just kill Gala. Yeah, Gala's dead. Oh, Jackie! No! <laughs> Ah, uh, they lost Tian, but it's really fine. Tess just turned the game around their back. What the fuck is that quirky item? <laughs> it's the healing reduction last whisper, which to be honest, I don't hate too much. Camille Grasp, Hydra, Rakan, Yone. It's not that bad. He needs armor pen, but yeah, the Camille's been a bit nullified, but I think LNG can still win a fight. Jackie no flash. But Cream, I think, is the issue right now. Can they get Cream down with Camille from the side? Camille's a bit low. Also, don't have to fight. This top wave, I think, should be what LNG is worry should be worrying about. Zika's trying to threaten, but he's a bit too low. They should just be careful of that top wave. If they can get to that top wave, I think the game's a horror. They're trying to get to it, but it's gone, I think. Can Zika get it? Yeah, he got it. Nice. There's another one coming in already. There is a long flank ward if they want to TP with Zika. But uh, I would only go for that if I was LNG, if they go for tier 3. Yeah, they're backing Baron Buffs off. 369 based. Okay, big gold lead now, but they're still on soul point and Baron... Uh, they just got Rabadons on Ziggs. Souls up in 50. No GA on Yone. No Sterex on Camille. Ooh, not the best timing for LNG, but if they had if they had Sterex GA, this fight would be so LNG favored. But they're just missing those huge spikes. Maybe Camille can get it off next top wave if she greets a bit and just pushes out, gets top wave, bases here, gets it and TPs in. You can see her sweating to push top wave. If she gets Sterex, it's such a game changer. Mm, she's not basing yet. I wonder if she needs one more wave still. Yone got GA, huge timing. Zika, does he press B here? Nope, he's running down. He's not going to get Sterex in time. So here comes the fight. Tess need to play the steal. They need to play the engage as well. Camille saving her TP, so she's going to be really late. Oh, said you only got it. LNG at Mountain Soul. Super rough. And Camille's proxying midwave, so they can't go mid either. A bit late, though. I feel like they're just late, 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 late. Camille has Sterex. Yeah, I think the game is super LNG favored now. I know there's a 3k gold lead for Tess, but I think it's so irrelevant. I, I would say, like, resource wives, like, LNG is, like, 5k gold up. 
at this point in the game. So they should just force. Yeah, force Nash. Yeah, they're so far ahead, it's unbelievable. All right, Tess have to fight this. They need a really good brand ult Leona connection onto Ziggs. They're gonna try and take over. Weird that they're trying to take over the Nash. Really weird. If they go into Baron Pit, it opens up Camille Angle so well. From here, from mid, from here. She, she can take any angle she wants if they're in the pit. Yone's here, Camille's here, Rakan's there. It's so fucking hard for MF to play a fight that has like three angles. MF brand really wants some kind of... All these four mini champs to come at them from the same direction. Kite back, turn. Oh, what? Wait, wait, just randomly face checks? Could be okay. Oh. The passive from the ult spread the scout, so Tian flash queued him to proc the stun. Scout's gonna GA proc here. Can they finish? Ooh, I don't know if they can finish that. Over chase! Over chase! Oh god! Maybe they should have just let Yone GA proc. That's disgusting. Cream's not even there. Oh, they second guessed it. Now come. Oh my god. Now they get Nash. Genji lost this. Why? Oh man, I like the idea from Tian to proc the GA, but. It feels like they're making split plays, right? They're chasing here, but look, bots, they were trying to make a pick on Camille, Leona, and Corky. So you're engaging here, 3v4 at best, and I get that they're low. It would be ideal here to back off, TP in with Corky and force Baron, but I mean, Sejuani has Warmox. Yeah, it's not really going to happen in the current meta. Just bad communication from Tess. And you're only wide. Six ult's not the best. Playable fight for Tess, but here comes Scout. Oh, gets Jackie on the tip of it. Jackie flashes out. Scout. Oh, Hang has a uh, locket so he doesn't die to the ignite and burn. Yeah, LNG run this game. Zix, baby. Ooh, what is going on here? I don't like this TP, actually. I hate it. Is this a fight? This feels like a grief. What the hell? Camille's pushing top, guys. How did, how did... What the fuck? He actually got out? Zika has Sterex and GA now. Oh my god, Camille. Elder fight. Elder fight changes the game. You gotta stop them from being able to flip it. Sejuani will drift it there well, quite nicely on the TN. It's hard for Jackie to play this fight, though. He has no sums. Oh, here comes Rakan. No flash. Oh, Scout. It's delicious. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. What a fight. Scout's had such an amazing series. Scout, my MVP for the series, man. Crazy. Nice. LNG are back. LNG are back. It was a rough spring. Slightly rough start to summer as well, but they found their footing. That spices up the LPL a lot if LNG are back. Because what do you have? You have JDG. You have BLG. You have AL. You have an LNG now. You have Tess. Um, you have Weibo. And you have Nip. So you have Rookie. Shao who, and Light and Crisp. Top Esports who just lost. Wait, Gala smiled. LNG. You have AL who's the breakout. But NIP then, and Weibo are the ones struggling, and you have JDG BLG. I know Weibo and Nip are frauds, but they're in the race, right?